Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect uh, to TryHack V's um, network. So when you're doing their challenges, you have to connect via OpenVPN. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. All right, so first we're going to start off with the beginners, complete beginners. Um, that's where I start off. Um, and I almost finished it, but I didn't finish my uh, paid subscription. So uh, maybe next month, All right? Anyhow, just go to the uh, tutorial. Actually, let me let me yeah let me go to the tutorial real quick and see if this lets you. Oh, it does. Okay, good. So here it lets you connect to the machine, right? So this is going to start the machine that we're going to attack. And so let me go ahead and click this. That's going to start it, right? And then it gives you two options: use a VPN or use the attack box, which costs money because you have to have a paid subscription. <laughs> of course, they're going to recommend that. I don't like using their attack box. Even if I paid for their subscription, I still wouldn't use it. The reason being is because when I'm creating these scripts or when I'm uh, exploring these, these um, remote hosts, uh, I want to do it on my own computer. I want to save that code. I want to put it in a notepad or save it on OneNote. And it's harder to do if I'm using their attack box. So I'd rather just use a VPN. And so if you click here, it'll take you here to the instructions um, where you can download my configuration file. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna download the configuration file, okay? And, um, oh. Something went wrong. Okay, let's go back to the dashboard. Let me figure this out here. Um, learn, complete beginners. Let's see if it lets me do this. Um, it's really odd. Okay. Okay, give me. Give me one sec. I have to find out where that configuration file is. OK, there we go. So um, I just clicked the question mark here. See instructions. Took me here. Download the configuration file. Um, it says there's an error, apparently. So let me just check a few things here. I guess maybe we could try a different one. There we go. All right, so I just changed the server, I guess. Um, it's downloaded it. And if you're using Chrome, you'll see your download down here. All right, great. So, you know, you can go ahead and do this from your virtual machine. Um, I have a virtual machine here. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go to the location of that file, right? But before we do that, let's install um, OpenVPN. So if you don't have OpenVPN, you'll have to get it installed. And the way you're going to do that is the instructions show you how to do it, but I'll just type it out here and then put it in the description of this video so you can see how to do that, all right? Uh, VPN. So you're just gonna type sudo app install open VPN. That will then install open VPN onto your Kali Linux box. Now, if you don't know how to set up a Kali Linux box, um, that's fine. There's plenty of videos to show you how to do it via virtual box. It's completely free and I highly recommend it uh, going forward because all the tools are just by default installed already. So you're already ready to rock and roll. Where if you do this with Windows, um, it's gonna be a pain. You're not gonna have all the tools installed. And some of the things you're gonna be using, um, Windows is gonna detect it as malware and it's not gonna let you complete a lab because let's say you're using like um, John or some other tool, uh, Windows will not let you use that. Windows will straight up quarantine it, lock it, and delete it. So 
um, moving forward, I'd highly recommend just using Kelly. All right, so once you've um, typed in that code, you've installed it, it should look something like this. Let me, so this is what the instructions say. I just put this in a OneNote, highly recommend going forward. Keep all your notes in uh, Microsoft OneNote if you have Microsoft. It's completely uh, free, I believe. You can just download it from the uh, Microsoft Store. You don't have to have 0365 for OneNote. So um, you can just use OneNote to keep like a repository for all of your notes. And here I made one on how to install OpenVPN. So again, we ran that command. And then it tells you to navigate to the location of um, the OpenVPN file that you downloaded. Okay. So let me show you where that location should be. Okay, so if you do this in Kelly, it, it's gonna store it in your downloads folder, okay? Then you'll see, for me, it's the Mandalorian one because that's my uh, name in TriHackMe. For you, it's gonna be whatever your, your alias is, whatever name that you set when you, use, you know, create your account, okay? So what you're gonna do next is you're going to find that location, right click, and then open a terminal here. Okay, so once you open a terminal here, then from here on forward, know that your opening VPN file, right, the file that you downloaded here, right, is stored in the Kali downloads folder. Okay, so when you start the open VPN, you have to start it from the downloads folder. If the um, configuration file is in the downloads folder. Okay, so now what you can do is you're gonna type sudo. And for me, it's already pre-populated because you know, I've used it before. But after you've installed OpenVPN, then you're going to sudo OpenVPN, the name of the configuration file. And it should have an extension .ovpn, okay. So once you've done that, you're just gonna press enter. It's gonna ask you to input your password and I'm just gonna pause it for that portion and then I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, so now the VPN will initiate a connection and a tunnel from your computer, right, your virtual computer to the TriHackMe's, um, to, the, to their side of the VPN, right? So initiate that tunnel, create the tunnel, um, you know, and then it'll choose whatever encryption it's using, cipher block it's using, and in this case, AES-256, right? So they negotiate between that, and then it'll set up the tunnel, right? So once the tunnel's created, it'll say sequence complete, okay? If this doesn't work, then that means you probably didn't sudo it in the beginning, and you have to put sudo. If, if it doesn't work, I'm telling you right now, because I've done this before. I just put OpenVPN, you know, the name of the file, and I run it, and it doesn't work because I didn't use sudo. You have to use sudo, okay? So now you can go ahead and continue on with the rest of the challenge. So here, we can go here, let me close that out. Here it's asking me to connect to this IP address. All right, Roger, let me do that. Let me open up Firefox and see if I can pull that IP address up. Now, when you're looking at these instructions, make sure you follow them. Okay, uh, just give me a second. Okay, so I got Firefox open. This is my IP address for the uh, TAC remote host, right? So this is the machine, the box I'm going to be attacking in this situation, um, exploiting. This is remote host, right? This is the uh, target, whatever you want to call it. That's the IP address of it. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy that. You're going to input that up here. HTTP, they don't really use S, so don't put S. And then you're just going to input that there. And then it's going to say, you can access tracking machines, right? So in this case, we're just simply testing out the connection. But in other cases, right, they're asking you to actually do like an in-map scan, um, in-map, and then the IP address. Um, that was a bug bounty I was doing earlier for uh, JP Morgan. So that's, that's um, something you could do, you know, if you're interested in it. 
um, that's why. Hey, uh, try hack me, teach you the skills you need, and then you can take those skills to do like bug bounties and stuff, right? Um, so here, just in map, and you could just put the IP address, right? And it'll run, it'll actually run it on that IP address. So uh, something that they've done, which I think is really cool, is uh, some of their machines will actually block your in map scans. And so it, it creates like a real world scenario um, where the targets might have a firewall, right? So you'd have to use a special request in order, a special um, command to actually get through the firewalls. And they'll teach you that throughout the course. Um, now here you can see uh, HTTP, it, the port 80 is open, right? And so of course, cause that's how we see this web page, right? But then you also see SSH is open. Hmm, kind of cool, right? So um, you can do the rest of their competitions. Now, no, and their challenges, but no, know this, not all the challenges require you to do AMAP scans. Some of them just want you to access the web page and you're doing web hacking. Um, some of them will have you do AMAP scans and you'll never access the web page. It just depends on the challenge. So make sure you read it through the challenge. Okay. If you run into any issues along the way and you're a subscriber, I will create a video for you ASAP. Okay, that's what I do for all my subscribers. So please like and subscribe. I hope to create more videos. This one's going in for every video that I create that involves try hack me. This one's gonna be the first video because if you're completely new, you stumble upon my videos and you just wanna start, um, you know, start doing the uh, challenges. Um, you can start doing that, right? I'm teaching you how to install OpenVPN. I'm teaching you how to move forward uh, if you're completely new, right? And, um, you know, please let me know. Give me some feedback. I hope you like this video. Till next time.